Hey everyone, Colin Vaudeville here for ifsetglobal.com and today I'm going to be doing a review of one of Aircom Vision's new panoramic dome cameras. The exact model number I'll be showing you today is the AV12186DN. Let's take a look at the camera now. The first thing you'll notice about this unit is that it's inside one of Aircom Vision's standard vandal proof dome housings. If we take the cover off, You'll see that they've done a great job of packing the four lenses and image sensors into the smaller form factor. Taking a closer look at the side of the unit here, you'll see your Ethernet port as well as your optional power jack. Around the other side is your jack for your external inputs and outputs. That's about it for the physical characteristics of this camera, so now let's get techie. The AV12186DN has a maximum resolution of 12 megapixels which comes from a combination of the four 3 megapixel image sensors. It supports both H.264 and MJPEG compression and can stream up to 5.2 images per second from each of the four image sensors. It is vandal proof and IP66 rated for outdoor use. It has full day, night and wide dynamic range functionality and can be powered using power over ethernet, 12 to 24 volt DC or 24 volt AC. Lastly, it is on VIF compliant. That's it for Techie Talk, so now let me tell you what I like about this camera. The first thing that I really like about this camera is that they've managed to fit it into one of their standard vandal proof outdoor dome housings. It's much easier to work with and more aesthetically pleasing. Plus, it fits all of the standard Aircom Vision dome accessories and mounting brackets. The other thing I really like about this camera is that they've managed to push up the resolution to 3 megapixels from each sensor and add a very effective wide dynamic range functionality. That's it for what I like about this camera, so now let me tell you what I didn't like about it. The first thing I didn't like about this camera is that though it performed extremely well in low light conditions and the wide dynamic range was very effective, it did show quite a bit of noise in low light situations and quite a lot of artifacting. The other thing I didn't like about this camera is the manual. It explains the physical installation of this camera extremely well and all the accessories, but it only briefly touches on the internal settings of this camera and otherwise doesn't mention any of them at all. That's it for what I didn't like about this camera. All in all, I'll say this is a huge improvement on Aircom Vision's old AV8185 and I love to see that they're still putting R&D into these panoramic cameras. That's it for this review. My name again is Colin Bodville and thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. See you next time.